56 subscribers. Okay, all right, okay, all right, that's what I'm talking about, my people. Yeah, I just always wanted to do that in my Denzel voice. Anyways, I'm TC the Barber. If you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. If you are not, welcome back. Um, I just wanted to be short and brief. I just want to um, definitely show my appreciation for the people that are supporting my YouTube channel and helping me grow. Definitely appreciate you guys. I'm definitely thinking about doing some type of a giveaway. I don't know exactly what I want to do yet, but that's definitely in mind. And uh, yeah, you can follow, also follow me on IG at TC the Barber and Man. And um, just wanted to show my face. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, enjoy the video and thank you for supporting and watching. Peace. Yo YouTube, it's your main man T for the Barber back with another haircut tutorial for you today. And as long as y'all like them, I'm going to keep on dropping. So right here, I'm going to be doing a mid-ball fade. Yes. So in this first clip, I'm going to go ahead and pin his hair up. I'm actually using my wife's hair clips. But if she don't know, now she know. Anyways, I'm going to pin his hair up and we can get to the next step. So now that we got his hair properly pinned, I'm going to go ahead and start my first ball guideline around the whole head, about midway. And then we can jump into our next step. Jumping over to the other side and just following around the back. And then I'm going to come back and clean up the bottom here. And then we can move straight into our next step. So finishing cleaning up the bottom of the fade with my silver FX. Jumping into this next step, I'm going to be balding out the bottom just so the fade can last a little bit longer with my Babyliss shavers. And I will leave the description below of all the uh, tools that I use in this video also so check that out so with my walls magic clip with the lever all the way open I'm gonna go ahead and create my second guideline going up about a half an inch around the whole head So as I'm finishing up the right side, just want to make sure my lines is just nice and neat. So in this next step, lever all the way closed on my Maul's Magic Clip and I'm going to go ahead and knock out this first ball guy line that I created with my Silver FX. And attacking that line by just flicking up at the line and flicking out. Now I'm going to open the lever up to halfway. 
And I'm going to continue to fade up to my second guideline, but I'm not going to go past that. And I did this video a, diff a little different, so I'm moving in sections. So I'm going to start on the left side of the head. And then I'm going to start in the back. And then I'm going to go to the right side of the head. Closing the lever all the way up. And continue to attack that line. Opening it up halfway. And I go a little bit higher on the fade, but don't go past the second guideline. And the same steps in the back with the lever all the way closed. Knock out this first ball guideline. I'm going to open the lever up halfway and continue to fade up to the second guideline with the flick up and out motion to not create another guideline. Just pretty much fading the bottom of the ball guideline that I created. Closing the lever. And adjusting the lever as needed. Now open it back up halfway and continue to fade up to the second guideline. Same steps on the right side with the lever all the way closed. Gonna open the lever up to half. And as you can see, I'm just flicking up at the line and then flicking out. Now back over to the left side with the number one guard with the lever all the way open. I'm going to go ahead and create my third guideline. And I'm going to go up about a half an inch as well. Well, full inch. And keeping everything consistent. Now that I finished my second guideline, I'm gonna go ahead and start blending the second guideline out. With the zero guard, with the lever all the way closed. And like what I like to do, I like to put a line in, take a line out. So I start my step by creating my ball line and then I create my second guideline and then I go back and knock out the ball guideline and then I create my third guideline and then I go back and go back and knock out my second guideline so that's just my way on fading that's easier for me now I'm going to open the lever halfway and continue to fade up to the third guideline but not go past that third guideline as I get closer to the third guideline, I flick up to the second guideline and then flick out right before I get to the third guideline. I 
Close another lever all the way up. And going back down to continue to attack that second guy line. Until I see the fade as smooth as possible. With the lever all the way closed. And moving to the back section of the head. And repeating the same steps. So guys, just remember uh, for the new barbers, the new barbers that are upcoming, um, fading the same steps. You know, um, start with the lever all the way closed, and then as you go up, you gradually open your lever up. Now I got the lever to uh, open up halfway with the zero guard on, and again I'm fading up to the third guy line, and not going past that. Closing the lever up, going back doing some cleanup work. It's something that I like to do out do throughout the whole fade. If it's something that I feel like I need to hit, I go ahead and hit it. So I want to keep having to go back to to detail and clean it up. Repeating the same steps on the right side of the head, lever all the way closed. Knocking out the second guy line. Open my lever halfway now and continue to fade those dark spots or any lines that I might see. Closing my lever back up and going back to the bottom. There's some lines that I see I need to fade out. And open it back up to half. And like I say in a lot of my videos, play with the lever as needed. It, it, it may be times where you have to close your lever in order to knock a line out. And there may be times you happen to open your lever to uh, open your lever as you go up on the fade. And guys, I did take the guard off, um, just to go back in detail. The lever's open to half with no guard. And just detailing, going back, cleaning up some lines and some dark spots that I've seen. And like I said, I like to do it. I like to do that throughout the fade. Same in the back of the head with the lever open to half. And just doing some detail work. Okay, guys, with the one and a half guard, with the lever all the way open, and I'm gonna take this all the way up and flick out. Coming around the front of the head, or the corner of the head. Same step, flick up and flick out. Because I don't want to dig in because my next step will be coming back with the number one guard. With the lever all the way open. To blend out the third guy line. Right now, just keeping it consistent. Flicking up and outward. Repeating the same steps as I did on the left side of the head. 
So this next step with the one guard with the lever all the way open. And I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the third guy line. And in this section, you might see me play with the lever a little bit in between half and close. Adjusting my lever as needed. Open my lever up to close my lever to half and continue to attack those dark areas to create a smooth fade. Closing it up now. Open the lever right back up. And just keeping my fade consistent. Same step in the back of the head with the lever all the way open. And repeating the same steps as I did on the left side of the head. And like I always say with fading guys, um, when you're fading, um, creating lines and taking lines out, just remember to whatever you started to create the line with, is what you use to take a line out if you're having a hard time trying to blend or get a line out. Right now, my lever is adjusted to half and just keeping it consistent all the way around the head. And like I say guys, play with your lever as needed too. You know, if, it's, if, if, it, if you need to close it up to get closer, or if you need to open it up. So right now, uh, with my flat, flat, flat top comb, right now I'm just going up, pulling the hair out toward me, and then cutting the hair, just sticking through the comb. Just to create a smoother transition. If you can see in the corner of his head where the hair is sticking out at, is the hair that I want to get. Um, through the teeth of my comb, just to make a smoother fade. He like his fade really tight, so. And as you can see me pulling, pulling, pulling the comb in, pulling it straight out toward me and cutting the hair just sticking right through the comb. So right now I'm gonna saturate the hair and I'm gonna be taking an inch and a half, inch and a half off top. And I apologize about this angle guys. So all I'm doing is just pulling the hair up, straight up, and just taking about a half an uh, inch and a half off, off top. And just keeping it consistent. Same coming around the back area, in the middle area, pull the hair straight up and clip.
now that I got it cut down, I'm going to go ahead and start styling it. And I'm just pulling the hair up. Just stretching the hair. And I'm um, stretching the hair to the direction that I want to style it. Rolling the brush in the hair, pulling the hair over. So next step I'm going to be placing the product in this hair. It's called Style Sexy Hair Hard Up. It's a product that he likes to use. His hair is very thick and this is definitely a good product to use on very thick hair and it, and it works really good. Like he told me that he'd been through so many products and he found this one. He actually introduced me to this product so I definitely recommend it. I will have it in the description below also too if you guys wanted to see what I use and also tools that I use as well. So now that I got a style coming back with a number two guard with the lever all the way close on the face. And then I'm gonna come back with a one and a half guard on the mustache. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start lining them up. And um, like I always start, I always start in the middle. Um, it's a good guide. Uh, start in the middle and then trace it all the way across to the left side and then back to the right It's just the best way to start to me especially if you're a newcomer always start in the middle and use the middle as your guide and it, in the corners I always try to match it up with like the edge of the eyebrow Just to keep an, it's another guide that you can use to not push back and it seems to be working for me So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let you guys watch this. Same thing you do for do to the left side, you do to the right. So now I'm beginning to his face. I'm gonna keep everything natural as possible. In this particular video, he don't want his sideburns to be faded in. He want to keep him as is. So I'm just going to go ahead and line it up. I'm going to repeat the same steps on the left side as I did on the right side.
YouTube, this is The Cut. If you like what you see, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that thumbs up button. And I also want to appreciate you guys for watching. Leave comments below if you like. And TC the Barber, I'm out. Peace.